In this video, I'm going to build a Grafana dashboard with log analytics data. Hello and welcome to Seraltos. My name is Travis Roberts. This is the second part of a series I'm doing on Grafana and log analytics. If you haven't seen my first video yet, check it out at the link above someplace or just go back and check out my channel. But before you do that, please take a second to subscribe. Just let me know that the videos are appreciated and I should keep making them. It also makes Toby quite happy. This is a demo on creating a dashboard and adding graphs and tables in Grafana. The video picks up where the, my last one left off. If you want to follow along, you'll need a Grafana installation connected to a Log Analytics workspace with the Azure Monitor Data Source plugin. The Log Analytics workspace will need to be configured to collect percent processor time and percent committed bytes in use with the performance metrics. With that, let's move on to demos. All right, buckle up everyone, it's time for demos. So you can see here I'm at the home screen and I've got my data connector set up and now it's asking for a new dashboard. So I'm going to start by going over here and creating a new dashboard. The first thing I'm going to enter is a graph for percent processor time. So if I click on the graph, it pulls up a graph. Now I'm going to go into panel and we're going to edit this. First thing I'm going to do is hop over to general and change the name. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to go over to metrics and I'm going to change this to log analytics as a service and the workspace will be the workspace that I am querying. Now they give you an example uh, example query here, but I'm just going to get rid of that for now. I'm going to add the query that I would run if I was in log analytics. Okay, so this is what you would enter from the custom query language. A pretty straightforward query that pulls the processor percent time and uh, renders a time chart. First thing I'm going to do is remove render time chart at the end because we are working with a time chart, so I don't need to render that. And you can see here this format as is set to time series. So if I click run, hopefully it will pull something back. Okay, there we go. So it did pull back some data. A couple things to point out though, I've got a couple problems. First, I have this data point outside a time range, which shouldn't be there. I've got some computers in that, are, that have actually been renamed weeks ago. So it's not, it's pulling back things I don't need. It also goes up to 150. Now, I, I'm not overclocking anything, so I, it shouldn't go beyond 100%. So to change that, we're going to do a couple things. Grafana uses macros to make writing queries easier. And one of the macros it uses is the dollar sign underscore time filter. If I add that into this query and set that to time generated and we click run, now we get something a little bit more interesting. It's only going to 15%, which is probably on a better scale than 150. It also removes servers that have not been monitored over the time period. In this case, the last six hours. And that data point error is gone. So that's something you would do outside of the normal uh, custo query language query that helps clean up and format this chart. The next thing I'm going to do is go over to the Axis tab. And I'm going to change the unit from short to under the none is a percent. So now that's changing this to percent. And I'm going to set the scale to uh, 1 to 100. So that gives me the full range. Okay, so that's looking better. I'm going to close the edit over here. And I have my first processor percent time graph showing up. The next thing I'm going to do is save this. So our changes are saved. And I will give this the name of sample dashboard. And save. Great, our dashboard is now saved along with the percent processor time, time chart. There is one problem though with it, and you probably wouldn't notice until a few minutes. Uh, it's not going to update. So in order to get it to update, I'm going to go up here where it says last six hours. I'm going to make a couple changes. First, I like to go to three hours. I like that time range better. And there's a refresh every setting here, and it's set to off. So I'm going to change that to every minute. And I do have to hit apply. 
So this is going to refresh every minute and give me a look back of the last three hours. The next chart I'm going to add is percent committed bytes in use for memory. So I'm going to go up here and add another panel and it's going to be another graph. And just like before, I'm going to edit it. I'll go to general. We'll change the name again. I'm going to go to metrics. And just like before, I'm going to change to log analytics and change my workspace. We'll select all of that and paste in the new query. This again is just like any query that I would run within log analytics, only I've taken out the render time chart and I've added the time filter macro. Now if I hit run, we should see committed bytes in use. There it is. And just like before, I'm gonna go over to access. I'm gonna change this to percent and change the axis to one to 100. There we go. I'll close that. I'm going to save again. And I can add notes. I don't need to add notes. So next I'm going to add another panel. This time it's going to be a table because I want a list of all the servers that are being monitored. So I go up here and I'm going to go into edit again. And I'm going to go to general and we'll change this to monitored servers. And just like before, we're going to go to Log Analytics, and we'll change this to the workspace that I want to monitor. I'm going to delete that. And here I have a simple heartbeat query that's going to pull back the uh, computers monitored in the last two days, or 48 hours, and it's going to pull back a list of distinct. Now if I run that, I should get an error. And you can see here it is. The reason I get that error is because I'm still set to time series. So let's go over to table and there's a list of our computers. So that is pulling back a list. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to save again. There is a list of my monitored servers. The next example I'm going to add is computers missing heartbeat in the past five minutes. So out of those computers that are being monitored, I would like to know if one of them quit sending heartbeat information. Just like before, I'm going to go to add panel table. We're going to edit it. I'm going to go to general and we'll name this and then I'm going to go to metrics and just like before change my data source and then I'm going to go in and delete out the sample query and paste in the new. This query is looking at heartbeat information over the last day and it's going to give me a list of computers that are missing heartbeats within the last five minutes. And again, I have to change this to table, run, and here you can see I have one server that's missing heartbeat information. There are a couple things though I want to change about this. First, it says computer, but I want to say, I want that to read offline computer. And also this time format, I don't really like. I, I can't look at that and know when that last time was. So I'm going to go into column styles and I'm going to add a new column style. I'm going to apply this to columns named computer and I'm going to change the column header to offline computers. Now I'm going to add a second one and you can see instantaneously it changed the header. I'm going to apply this to last call and under type I'm going to change this to date and there you can see it changed it to a much better format uh, to read, but if I wanted to even change that, I could. So we'll leave it there. So now the layout of this uh, table looks much better than it did before. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to save again. Okay, so this is getting better. I've got some data that I'm showing in the dashboard, but it's really not in the layout that I want. So I'm going to make a couple changes. And all you have to do to change the layout is grab the title bar and move the table or the panel. And I'm going to come up here with percent processor time, maybe move that up right next to it. I'm going to move monitored servers over here. And this doesn't need to be that wide, so there's a drag handle here. I can make that narrower. 
then maybe move heartbeat information or computer's missing heartbeat. Let's see if we can make it fit there. So now we have a much better looking dashboard. We've got some data in it that we want to collect and we have it refreshing every minute. That is it. I hope this is enough to get you started in using Grafana and Log Analytics. If you've enjoyed watching these, please subscribe. That lets me know people are watching them and appreciating them. Thanks for watching.